From fat baits to flat baits and everything in between, Hardbait Bass details crankbait strategies for fishing weeds, wood, rocks, and open water. It's part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com. Jim, got it. Oh yeah, really good. You could tell on that right. Huh? Got a big one. Oh yeah. I mean, I really threw out there a long, long way. She's a good fish. Yeah. I thought she was one of them real giants. She ain't bad though. She ain't bad. Come here, buddy. Not too bad of a fish for the first one, Al. Do one of these. Boy, huh? You know, the interesting thing, when you get on schools of fish in summertime like this, out on these deep structures, where there are deep rock piles and natural lakes like we're on now with rock extensions or creek channels, you know, that drop into deep water, the schools of fish can be incredible. There we go, now we're talking, and look what he's got perched in his mouth. A deep diving crankbait. Right now, Al and I are gonna look at strategies for catching largemouth bass on crankbaits, but we're talking deep crankbaits. You know, most uh, crankbait anglers probably fish anywhere from, uh, I'd say six to eight foot and shallower. But what we're, we're looking at is fishing on the deep end of the spectrum. We're talking anywhere from like 15 to as deep as maybe 22 foot of water. You know, one of the real keys to being successful doing this is actually doing a little bit of homework with your electronics. So what we did is actually, we actually laid down some GPS coordinates on the top of this really uh, very thin spine, rock spine. Uh, the top of the rock spine, and you can see it's just starting to come into view right now. I got a, uh, a side imaging here and it really gives you a very distinct view of how these fish are positioned and what they're actually positioned on. As you can see, what this is, this is a very thin spine of rocks on the side side imaging and these are great big boulders and the fish are actually positioned on the top of the spine. The spine is actually only, only about twice the width of, a, uh, of the boat. So what I've done is actually put down three different GPS coordinates actually right on the top or the crest of this thing. What it enables you to do is actually to really precisely place those casts and you're not making a lot of wasted casts because one thing with the DT20, you're trying to put this bait down in 20 foot of water and it takes a little while. And what we want to do is be as efficient as possible with these lures. Yeah, we were going this way. We? Yeah. A lot of times we were, yeah. Almost, yeah. All, almost all the fish came off. The better size fish. There's another one. Another good Whoa, one? Big, big, big. That's a big bass there. Whoa. This is a poor Sal. Look at the size of him. Whoa. Oh, okay, we're talking big bass. Oh, nice fish. Whoa, Look at man, that. that's Ooh. right. Ooh. Man, we're talking Whoa. real whopper. Look at that. Look at that sucker there. That is the biggest bass out I've caught in a long time. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of that baby. Okay. Ooh. Come here, buddy. When we're talking big bass, deep diving crankbaits have a time and place in your arsenal, particularly for real big bass. From fat baits to flat baits and everything in between, Hardbait Bass details crankbait strategies for fishing weeds, wood, rocks, and open water. It's part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com.